Well, everyone, I want to go ahead and hit on a few reasons why the iPhone 14 might actually end up being a better iPhone in some ways than the iPhone 16. Now, the 16 is going to be the best iPhone in basically every single way, but there are some advantages for the iPhone 14. And the number one reason why I think the iPhone 14 is a better iPhone than the iPhone 16 is from a price per dollar standpoint. The iPhone 14 right now is a you know $599 brand new phone. But in the in the used market, you can buy it for like less than five hundred dollars, probably closer to even three hundred ish dollars in the used market. The iPhone 16 right now is retailing for eight hundred dollars. That is a pretty high price to pay for that type of phone. And because the iPhone 15, the iPhone 14 Pro, those phones also have dynamic islands, I feel like it just makes more sense to buy those phones rather than the iPhone 16. So I think that right there is a pretty big thing to keep in mind. Also on top of that, with the iPhone 14, I truly do feel like the colors that were available for the iPhone 14 were probably better than the iPhone 16. I'm just not a big fan of the iPhone 16 colors. Like I feel like they're just kind of random. The iPhone 14 colors though, if you look online, they were probably better. I don't. I think there's more colors for the iPhone 14 as well, but that was one other advantage for the iPhone 14. On top of that, going on to that price per dollar standpoint, they both share a lot of similarities. They both basically have the same size display at 6.1 inches, and they also are giving you the same 60 hertz refresh rate. The iPhone 14 came out back in 2022. Two years later, we are still stuck with the same refresh rate on the iPhone 16. Because of that, I would say that the iPhone 14 is better here in this particular area, even though the 16th panel is better, dynamic island, you know, whatever, you know, the higher you know, brightness, I feel like the iPhone 14 does a really good job with that particular side. Now on top of that, I actually am more of a fan of the iPhone 14's diagonal camera approach rather than the top-down camera on the iPhone 16. I actually do feel like the iPhone 16's camera is good, it's going to be great, and the quality is probably going to be better, but the iPhone 14's camera, the way that phone looked like on the backside, I actually like the way the the iPhone 14 looks more than the iPhone 16. I'm just not a fan of the way the iPhone 16 kind of looks like in my personal opinion, at least from the backside. On top of that, you know, you're going to be getting more features, more buttons, more everything like that on the iPhone 16, but I do kind of miss having the ringer on off switch on the iPhone 14. The 14 series, you know, the 15s all have those ringer on off switches. The action button is nice, but on my 15 Pro, I'm not really using it too much. I usually just keep it just to have the one thing. I know there's more functionality behind it, but I do feel like that could be an advantage for the iPhone 14 rather than having to hold down the button and doing all that the iphone 14 having that you know ringer on off switch is kind of an advantage i would say in some ways so obviously the iphone 16 is the better phone you're getting way more features and everything built in but i think there are some cases to be made of how the iphone 14 could end up being a better iphone than the iphone 16 so that kind of covers it up there if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then